Hey guys, so I actually got a request to do a vampire tutorial for Halloween from my niece. Now my niece does not live close to me, she's in a different state, so I definitely wanted to do it because it's kind of like the next best thing other than like her titi, which is like auntie in Spanish, actually being there and doing it for her. But I was kind of torn because I didn't really know what to do. Like. Uh, you know, you think of vampire, you think of like dark and scary or like smoky and sexy and I don't want my niece to be either one of those. <laughs> Not yet. So I'm kind of going off like more of like a twilight uh, vampire uh, with the pale skin and shadowy, you know, like the dark shadows. So this is from Wet n Wild. You can get this at Walgreens. I think this is like, you know, three to five dollars and it's the Fantasy Makers Painter palette. And it's all these different colors that you can use and it's for Halloween so just taking a flat brush and if you don't have brushes I'm just gonna go into this white and put it all over my face so if you don't have brushes you can always go to Michaels or like Joanne fabric or any kind of craft store even the Dollar Tree or something and get brushes you don't need to spend a lot of money if you're not like into makeup yet or if this is just for Halloween you know it's not like it's not that serious so. Okay, the next step is optional. It really just depends what you have on hand. Um, I'm just taking like a setting powder and this is from Rimmel. It's just a couple of bucks also from Walgreens. Everything I'm gonna be using um, is from the drugstore. And I'll list everything uh, down below. I'll probably put something up on my blog also, um, but I'll put all of the products and the prices. That way, if you need to go get something, you can. But it's just the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Transparent. And that will just make sure that everything stays in place and isn't like sliding down your child's face. And I'm just going to go in and darken my eyebrows, which they're dark anyway, but this will just kind of make them stand out more and make you make the paleness even stand out of the skin also. For eyes, with that same palette, we have this like black. It comes with purple and red. So I'm just gonna take the black and kind of smudge that like around my, the line here and like just a little bit underneath. This is Wet n Wild Camera Obscura, and it just has like this, this is just like a nice brown um, kind of color. I'm just going to put this in the crease. You don't want anything too warm, so you want something like cool tone. This middle color is definitely, you could see like the warmer colors. Again, this is kind of just adding dimension. Hey, so my battery died so I had to charge it, so I went ahead and did one eye. I'll probably go back and fix a few things, but just to save time. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So we had worked on the crease, and I just wanted you know, to make sure that it was white here. So just with the brush that we applied, the, the white on our face, I kinda just dragged it right under the eyebrow. And you don't have to worry if you're too messy. So what I'm gonna do is I have this not the same palette, the same brand, but it's a different palette from Fantasy Makers. It's the glitter palettes, and this is Stars and Snipes, and it has like a black, red with sparkles, this white with sparkle, uh, gray, red, and another black. So I'm just taking a flat brush like this, just like that, and I'm taking one in into this gray one right here. And I'm just gonna pat this all over the eyelid. A small liner brush into the black here. I'm gonna go in with this black and then we're going to go in with these two colors also. So first this dark black, 
hope my lighting is not too horrible. It is nighttime and I have like this really big bright light on me. I figured if it washed me out, it probably would be a good thing. Just kind of dragging that right under. Just another small one, very similar. And I'm just gonna dab that in. And just kind of put it right in there. Sorry guys, you can like see the light going in and out. So we're just putting it right in here. And then we're just gonna tap it. And the warmth of your finger, just like naturally, is gonna make it blend nice. And that's just kind of, if you have like red contacts or anything like that, go for it, you know, but I do not and I already wear contacts, so, you know, but this is just going to add that extra, that kind of reddish raw color that they have around their eyes a lot. And as you're doing that, you're going to be, and you're going to end up wiping away some of the white. So you always just want to keep going back in with your brush. You don't need to add more white. You can just blend it going into that gray color and let's just see I'm just gonna kind of dust this right here if you go to the top of your ear and just here to maybe like a third of the way into your eye where like the dark part of your eye starts or blue or green or whatever I'm just gonna go and if you do fishy face it'll be right there it's gonna you can feel your cheekbone and it's right under there and this is just to add from sculpting. You always see vampires are very like chiseled and you know. And the lipstick I'm using is Fergus and Crest. This is Wet and Wild Fergie. little palette. It's from Maybelline. It's like $8.49, but I'm taking it because it has like this gray silver and then like this light blue. Um, so anything along those lines, you don't have to get this exact palette, but I'm just going to mix that gray and blue and kind of connect this just to make a little bit more of a shadow here. Take any mascara you want. This is just a Revlon Lash Potion. Go into this red and kind of just like go over that with the red. If you want, you can kind of, you know, get a little hair, just bloody it up a little bit. It'll kind of, ex you know, make it a little gorier. Now I don't have things. But if you were just like biting on someone. And in this same palette, there's that really pretty, like white sparkly. And you know, since everyone's all about Twilight, I'm just gonna kinda take my finger, just rub it right in. And just dab it on my cheekbones. Maybe just a little, and then the bridge of my nose. So put some on my lip. Just to add a little sparkle. And you 
you can get creative when it comes to your outfit. You can be all in black, but you can also just be like, you know, just like in your normal clothes, you know, because you're a vampire. You were just bitten. So, you were a normal person. Something to do, you can just kind of hand tease your hair. And if you're going to part your hair, be messy about it, but uh, make sure you part it so you can still see your neck. So here's my like innocent, <gasps> what did I do? I bit somebody apparently and look, I got bit. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This is, uh, you know, definitely not a Disney villain, but just wanted to show you my take on a vampire where you wouldn't need to buy fangs or like a crazy costume it's just like you have a little bit of makeup again something you know you just want to make sure you have something that has white um something like this is really great because it has all these colors but really all you need is a dark color for the eyes the white for the face and like a red vampy lip everything else you can just play around with it doesn't matter and you could probably spend less than 10 bucks at the store so again like i said i will try and link everything down below and if you have any other requests just let me know in the comments don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you liked this and hope you enjoyed you guys stay blessed i feel kind of weird saying that looking like this but hey it is what it is right <laughs> bye guys